going uh, going on. The bigger events can uh, do it themselves. The smaller events all uh, need some uh, tools to get a network on their event. And this is where we want you to get in. We want to have this network event kit fast to deploy, but we want it to, to do it for a very low cost. We do it through wired and through wireless. The uh, way you log into the internet uh, on this place uh, today, it's about the network uh, event kit that we use uh, now. But it's more than just a kit. Because what we want to do is think about how to create cooperation between uh, communities, how to train uh, people. It's not uh, the meaning that we uh, walk in and uh, do the whole network. No, we deliver the goods, we deliver the know-how, and the communities that they use the network event kit have to do it them themselves. So we have to train them and we have to use open source software in it. Yeah. Something about the history where we are coming uh, from. We are coming from uh, a foundation, uh, Wireless Leiden. We built a network on uh, on the city of Wireless Leiden, about 100 nodes uh, were there, and at the top of top of it, we have uh, three HTTP uh, proxies and a diversity of hardware: P P1, P2, uh, 60, 64 M M bits, etc., etc. A very low-profile hardware, but we managed to make this very large network. It was something like this. And everybody said, hey, do this work? Yes, eventually it does work. But you know that when something in here goes broke, you have to get it all apart and then build it up again. A very, uh, a very uh, amount of time is putting in there. At the end of this, uh, at uh, 2005, we have a Wi-Fi on all of the routes of, of Leiden. Everyone can um, connect to this. We have uh, uh, ante uh, antenna connection between 100, uh, 800 meters to uh, 10 kilometers, on the 2.5 gigahertz. Lots of gain. The polarization of all the, all the, all the antennas were the same, and we had a, a known a dynamic a routing a principle. This is a chart coming from uh, 2003, I see, and this is the way this network works in uh, Leiden. In 2005, we are starting up the wireless community camp. We had lots of uh, knowledge about wireless Leiden, and we're starting a very uh, low profile, just one uh, connection, a switch LAN, some APs, static routing, mono wall, very uh, simple. Something the, look, the network lo uh, looks then. Uh, like we, we call it, if we use this picture, an ad hoc network. We call, it, we call it wireless, yes, yes. If uh, this morning we came, we came in to build a uh, wireless uh, network, and we have two big cases all by wired. If you use wireless, you uh, use uh, very uh, much wire. In this uh, uh, wireless community camp, we uh, train all the people to build their own uh, nodes. And there were people who learned basic, the BSD uh, uh, stuff, 
and also very expert people. There was do documentation, we giving hands-on uh, training, there, was a pre there were presentations, we are teaching uh, people skills, because it was a very diverse uh, kind of people, so we train them all from where they are at this uh, point in time. Lots of support from ex experts and offering to network events. Something to work there. What are we doing? Okay. This is something, this was something from the past. We have now had uh, some uh, sponsors you see on the right. And we have now uh, three very fast uh, three, uh, 386 machines. One for a primary firewall, one for a backup firewall, and a monitoring machine. For the Wi Fi part, we have embedded hardware like Sucris, like Alex from PC Hardware, powered by a central uh, power over internet. And the 11A band, the 11B band, and G band. And of course, some switches. And it looks like this kind of things. Also, you see wireless. At this point, we just changed to FreeBSD 8.0. We build uh, uh, software routers, firewalling, access, access control, monitoring. Every monitoring that is there we use. And we have Nana BSD on sticks for the access uh, points. If you combine the software and the hardware, you can do some monitoring. It's a very uh, simple thing of uh, the network, what now is work, working here. And through our sponsors, we have now uh, pointed out uh, uh, several uh, phases to do our project uh, planning. At this point, hardware inventory has been uh, done, ordering hardware has been done, there is a base install, there is a NANA BSD, there's a file. This is all done, working, etc., and it's being updated every time there is an update available. Phase two of the project is the central administration of the access uh, points. Setting up monitoring like Kekti, Negios, and Snort is all be working. Phase three automation of the administration, the puppet, the configuring the database and the web GUI, Ruby, again, all setting up, all working. Phase two is the ACL, the blacklist and port control, the event, uh, tr trigger, the event trigger. And we are now working on uh, the uh, compl complete documentation. Uh, I think uh, 50, 60 percent of this is already uh, ready and online. And after the documentation is ready, we are going to put on some uh, training uh, manuals. So, if anyone wants to go to use uh, the uh, network event uh, kit, online there's the documentation and there's the training. How to getting involved? We have uh, several mailing lists where everyone can uh, connect uh, to and mail to the people and say, okay, how does that work? How does that work? 
no matter there are people now on uh, Papua, Papua New Guinea who are uh, locking in uh, Tanzania, uh, everyone in the world are now connecting. Oh, again, we are writing some documentation, we are putting this in a Moodle so everyone can uh, use this and see the structure behind this. If you want to do an event, you can uh, help on site. On the right side, behind the doors, there is now the complete event kit is now working and available. We are now with a double team uh, this uh, this weekend. One team who set it up the, uh, ne the next uh, last year, and on uh, the Apache uh, con. Uh, there is a second team now who join, join up and trying to learn how to build up the network event kit. The meaning is that the next time the first team get, get back and the second team are doing, the, doing this setup themselves. If there is another, another uh, community saying, hey, I want to use this network event kit, we are not going over and uh, tr uh, trying to uh, do the network uh, event kit for them. No, we are pulling them in, we are training them to uh, use this event uh, kit, and then we take, take back. And in the event uh, preparation, we learn people to set up, uh, to plan the thing, to organize uh, the thing. Uh, sometimes every, everything goes uh, well, then it goes to work. This morning we have some uh, problems, then, you, uh, then we have to see, okay, what to do now when we have a big problem. How to use the documentation. So if you are working, if the networking is working, you can go into a Moodle and see how is it working, why is it working, and what can I do to improve my skills. The file documentation. Of course, some special uh, movements about our sponsors. NL NLNet is the big sponsor behind uh, this. And the other one are also sub-sponsoring. So if you want to use the network event kit and you want to uh, set up uh, these things, you have to do note something about hardware, about the software, about the administration, about the monitoring. Tomorrow my colleague Martin uh, Vein will uh, go deeper in the technical issues about uh, monitoring. If you have an event like uh, this, you can see, okay, now it's 11.15, uh, all the people are moving from here to there, and then they are moving from there to there. At the end of the event, you can see uh, where the people, uh, you can see there uh, are, uh, say, about 10 people in this room, in this presentation. You can also see that in the presentation about two hours ago, there were about 100 people in. So you can, uh, if you do an event, you can um, improve the way you put down the speakers. This is something about logging. But if you want to set it up, of course, you need some, uh, some training. You need to on how do I do this, how do I do that. We have now do, did, uh, done, I say, about uh, six, six events from uh, ApacheCon. was a very big event to a, a slightly smaller like here. So we have lots of experience in this. This is again something about the event kit like he's standing now outside. If you want to know, know something about uh, benchmarking, these are the uh, steps up. You can see from the Apache Con, how many people were on Tuesday, how many people were on Wednesday, how were on uh, Monday. And you can see also by hour when, when the people are coming in, when they're coming out. This is a very 
um, read uh, one, but you can uh, diverse this in several uh, corners of the pre of the presentations uh, presentation rooms. Something like this. You see the network event kit. You see an Antel, uh, several access points that are working. There are uh, lots of people. There are one uh, guy working. Here are uh, ma many people. And if this, this is your presentation, then you have a problem. Again, uh, tomorrow in the presentation of Martin Vine, in this issue, he will go much deeper than this and uh, will tell some technical things about it. If you want to know more about this, uh, go to our website. There are several websites that now are working. Something about the Moodle, something about the NEC, something about projects that we are working. And if you want to know on this, uh, on the booth on uh, this corner, uh, there are five or six people now uh, ready to uh, help you with your questions. Okay, this is was this was my uh, presentation.